Hey everybody, this is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and we are experiencing major technical difficulties today. So I did not get to use the Nevo camera. Don't know if uh, comments are gonna work or not. Um, Facebook did a major update today on pages. So yeah, so I'm back on the iPad again um, and really, really not happy, really not happy because I wanted to use the Nevo camera. But anyway, this is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. Today is Sunday, December the 20th, and having major technical difficulties. So, not excited at all about the technical difficulties. But anyway, we are here, you all are here. I'm starting to see you all. Um, I don't know if comments are gonna work or not. Um, the new format for, um, whew, the new format for Facebook would not let me sync with the, with the Mevo camera. So. I'm really not happy about that. Okay, and I can see that you all are commenting and comments are not showing up. So, okay, let me get myself muted here. Oh, it wouldn't be a day with me if there weren't some technical difficulties, would it? Would there be? Hello, Roberta, hello, Mindy, hello, Kathy, hello, April, thank you very much. Hello, Sylvia, hello, Popsicle. Uh, let's see who else is here. Hello, Marlene, and I'm so sad. So I can't use the Mevo and it's gonna be like this again, and I can't see comments. So, yeah, all right. So let's see who else did I miss. Hello, I already saw Marlene, hello Janice, hello Kathy, thank you very much. And I got grinched by Facebook today, thanks a lot Facebook. Hello Lisa, hello Lynn. No, you didn't lose me, and no Carolou, it wasn't you. It's Facebook, I guess, and hello uh, Sandra from Demon's Ferry. And sadly, I'm gonna have to sit and scroll through all of this because it is not giving me comments. Oh, it just infuriates me when it does this. Just infuriates me, but anyway. Okay, let's see, and I know Mindy, deep breaths. And that makes me so sad because I love the Mevo camera and Casey loves how easy it is to upload the videos. And I even brought you all home. I brought you home and it's not gonna work for me. So anyway, hello Elaine, hello Sherry in Connecticut. And yes, Betty, so Betty, we were having technical difficulties. We are back on the iPad again tonight. Um, I brought you all home with me. Hello, Barbara, yes, I am home. Um, and hello, Jennifer. Jennifer says, so glad to be here tonight. Need you more than ever. Need you all more than ever, that's so sweet. Hello, Mary Ann. And Trish, so technical difficulties, the, for some reason, okay, so Facebook did a major update over the weekend, and the Mevo camera will not connect to it will not so that's very upsetting but we're back at the loft hello Chris and hello Bernice hello Sherry hello Sandy from Northeastern Kansas it's also not giving me comments which stinks but anyway hello Leslie from Barrie Ontario Canada hello hello thank you Sandra and okay so Carol says you are very low or quiet again we don't care as long as you're here so I just literally threw this together when it wouldn't, so I'm sorry, I spent like the whole day, I hope y'all can at least see part of this because I spent the entire afternoon decorating this for you all and hoping that you all would be able to see me at home. But anyway, so hopefully you can hear me. Hello, Linda from Rock Island, Illinois. And let's see, Mindy's checking on John's mom. I'll give y'all an update on her in just a second. And, oop, and Barbara says she's in her happy place because all the campers are back. Well, I am not in my happy place. I am in my stressed out place because John and I spent all afternoon, hello Terry, setting this up so that we could be at home today. Hmm, great. Okay, anyway. Um, okay, so, whew, after I start breathing again, so we are at home. We're at home, well actually John has run over to Casey's house, but, um, and thank you Kim, so she can hear, see the decorations and hear me fine. Thank you very much. Um, a little bit frazzled about the um, little bit frazzled about the update so anyway you all just have to you all have to bear with me um, because this is not what we had planned so again this is Kelly with if you have an egg.com frustrated because John and I spent we spent all afternoon getting ready for this for you all and setting it up and practicing where the Mevo camera was gonna be and everything and then it wouldn't sync up with Facebook so anyway, okay, so I digress, let's move on. So I have on my Resting Grinch Face sweater. This is one of my very, very favorite sweaters. Um, and it was gonna be super cute and we had decorations on both sides. Oh well, we'll figure it out. So we'll get this, you know, we'll get this going later and I guess we will practice with the Mevo camera here at home 
later. But so Barbara and a couple of other people, Lynn, you know, y'all are happy because last year, well, actually the last couple of years, I have done all of our um, chats from home instead of doing them from work. So this is actually my home. Welcome to my home. And up here is where John and I decorate for the holidays. Um, we collect campers. So I'm not going to talk about WW just yet. Hello, Linda from Rock Island, Illinois. So we collect campers and we have a new truck and the truck has a tree in it. So if y'all can see that, anyway, okay. Whew, okay, so deep breathing, calm and relaxing. So today is December the 20th and we are days away from Christmas. And yes, Barbara, there are some new things. We are just days away from Christmas. If that is the holiday that you celebrate, um, whatever you celebrate, happy, 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 happy holidays to everyone. Um, I will breathe and relax here in just a second now that I know that everything is at least working, even though the Mevo camera is not working, which really, really mm, irks me. Um, if you are brand new though, I promise that I don't usually get this, but anyway, a little irritated with the Mevo camera. So if you are brand new with this though, please say hey and hello because we love to greet you. We like to say hi and hello. Um, that will come up again here in just a little bit and I'm so sorry if I miss any of your comments. Facebook did an update so we were a little bit late starting tonight because Facebook did an update and I had to go through and accept all of the things and I thought I had accepted all of the things but apparently not because it's not showing me comments I'm having to watch with you um, and it is not syncing up with the Mevo camera. Okay, so we'll try for next week. We'll try for New Year's. We'll try to have the Mevo camera back up and running and maybe we'll do New Year's here too. I don't know. But for tonight, this is December the 20th. I am Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. Welcome, welcome everyone. I mean, it is so good to see you all. If you are brand new, please do say hi and hello because we like to welcome you. Everybody likes to welcome you here. Um, I know we will have some new people because sadly, some more, um, some more workshops have shut down and I'm so sorry um, and thank you Sherry um, you know and some more um, you know some more of the zoom workshops have, um, have shut down and I am so so sorry um, please understand that the people who work them are just as upset as you are that they are gone hello Kathy from North Mississippi um, and please support them the best you can if you can you know if you can because they um, you know I don't know because they're hurting too okay so if though, if you do not have a Zoom workshop that you can go to any longer, please join us in Knoxville at 2.30 on Sundays. Um, I am not a WW leader, I just like to talk. And my leader Gwen and Linda would love to would love to see you. And the people that I saw today at our Zoom meeting were Gwen, Myrna, Myrna's almost always there. And um, yeah, and uh, Carol Lou says, the look on my Grinch face says it all. That's exactly right. Thanks a lot, Facebook. That's how I'm feeling right now. Um, but today I saw Gwen. Myrna's almost always there. Linda, Kathy, Trish. And if I miss you, let me know. Um, let's see, Trish. And Trish looks so cute again today. And Donna and Sandy with an I. Sherry. And hello, Loretta from Gloucester, Virginia. So when it's in Virginia, is it Gloucester? Am I saying that correctly? Um, let's see, Donna, Sandy with an I, Sherry, Karen, Donna, uh, Jackie, Janet, Rick. We had a new friend named Rick today. And let's see, Sandra was there in spirit. So if you all did not know um, Sandra's husband, Sandra, and it's Sandy with a Y, or Sandra, her husband did pass away yesterday. Um, she has, she's been taking care of him for a very long time. Um, she has been his sole caretaker, you know, for a very, very long time. It's been a long, it's been a very long year for them. So, I mean, 2020 has stunk for a lot of people, but Sandra's, they've really, and hello, Bobby, they've really been through a lot. And hello, Marky. So, if y'all could just keep Sandra and, you know, in her, in your prayers and her, um, her sister Donna. So, Sandra was there, spirit. We were there, you know, we were there with, you know, with Sandra today. Um, Debbie and Kim. So, if I left anybody out, I do apologize, but I think I saw, that's everybody that I saw at the 2.30 Zoom meeting um, here in Knoxville today. So even if you are not in Knoxville, if you are an active WW member, if you have um, eTools, um, and I heard today, Orlando Debbie said today, that if you join with a pass, so if you join as if you are going to be attending a physical workshop, even though a lot of us cannot attend physical workshops right now, if I understood Debbie correctly, then if you join with that same pass, as if you were going to, going to attend a physical workshop, then you can go to the Zoom meeting. So you might want to think about that. You might want to check into um, pricing. And she, um, 
she went ahead and called. So, and she suggests that everybody calls if they if they're having if you're having trouble getting to a Zoom into a Zoom meeting. If you've lost the Zoom meeting where you were at um, and you're having trouble getting in, um, okay. And Mindy says yes. So, if you get and Mindy, what is that called? You know, because since I'm Grinch frazzled uh, right now, I cannot think what that's called. But anyway, so you can go ahead and do that so that you can continue going to the meetings. Um, but again, today is December the twentieth. Um, Lucky we are here. Um, gonna scream at Facebook after we hang up, but so happy that you all are here and I hope that everyone will say hi and hello to each other. If you are brand new, please say hello. And if you are watching this on YouTube later, it's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg, then um, go ahead and say hi and hello there too. So, uh, yeah, I know, yeah, Judy, uh, yes, it's a virtual meeting, but there's a name for that pass though. There's a certain kind of a pass that you have to get and it's just, it's, it's escaping me right now. But in case you were not paying attention, I've been posting it all day long. You are gonna need, for the second half of tonight's chat, we are gonna play a game and you are going to need to either go find the link. So without leaving the chat, if you can go find the link and find the virtual bingo card, you can just click it and it'll make a bingo card for you. You don't have to sign up for anything. It'll just make one for you. If you don't wanna click the link, um, then you can, a monthly pass. Okay, so Kathy says it's a monthly pass. Um, but anyway, if you don't want to click the link, then you can just um, use the, I'm oh, sorry, Mindy just said it's unlimited workshops plus digital. So that's what you need to sign up for if you are an international, and I know I'm bouncing around, but give me just a second. So it is a, it is unlimited workshops plus digital. That is what you need to sign up for if you want to still be able to access the Zoom meetings. Um, okay, so back to the game though. If you don't want to click on the link to make your own card, then you either need to screenshot the one that I, um, or save the one that I sent out today, or you can make your own. And I'll give you the words really quick when it's time to start that. So that'll be in the second half, which somehow it's already 8.20 because I had technical difficulties. Okay, so I'll talk really, really fast about the first part. So who, first of all, who got to sit your bottom, who got to sit your little bottom in a chair last week? So who got to go to an actual in-person workshop? Give me a thumbs up if you went to an actual in-person workshop last week, um, or if you attended here um, with us live. So give me a thumbs up for that. And down at the bottom of your screen, you have little thumbs ups. And Mindy says, if you have your regular workshop membership, then you are still good to go. No changes need to be made, so that is awesome. Okay, so thumbs ups for those people. And if you attended, no, I'm sorry, if you attended a if you sat your bottom, little bottom in a chair or if you went to a Zoom meeting last week, this really does have me frazzled, then do a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And here I'll do one so you can see what I'm talking about. So there is a thumbs up. And if you, or, and or, if you attended here live with us last week or if you watched it on replay, let's see some hearts. Okay, so awesome, awesome. Oh, and Trisha's is Christmas trees, thumbs ups and hearts. Christmas trees, thumbs ups, and hearts. Yeah, so lots of you all did both last week. So here are your virtual Bravo stickers. Good job, everybody. Good job for attending a Zoom meeting or attending, oh, Linda had her bottom in a chair. And hello, Linda. It's good to see you today. Um, dang it, I'm still so jealous. But, but anyway, so here are your, your virtual Bravo stickers. So congratulations to everybody who's still staying this dedicated, this into the holidays. I mean, we are in, we're like in the middle of it right now, in the middle, no matter what you celebrate, we are deep in right now. So congratulations to everybody for still sticking with it. Um, also last week was chat number 203 and we were talking about learning how to say no. And so your homework for last week was, was hashtag ho ho no. And hello Loretta, let me just make sure I didn't miss anybody real quick. I don't think so. Okay, I think I'm caught up. So your homework for last week, and in case you're just now joining us, we had technical difficulties at the beginning. So I'll be talking really fast so that we can get to our game at 8.30. Um, but your homework um, for chat number 203 last week was hashtag ho ho no. And you were supposed to find a way this week um, to, to keep somebody from grinching your holiday. So remember, you're supposed to keep somebody from grinching your holiday by finding a way to say no to something that you don't wanna do or that you shouldn't do or that you shouldn't eat or that you shouldn't participate in. Um, so let's see how you did. A lot of y'all did your homework this week. Um, MJ actually posted, she found a little um, article or found a little 
and I wrote you a little, you know, whatever, a little diagram, and it was perfect. So she said, MJ said she saw this post and thought of our topic for this week. So what she saw was say yes to saying no, and it says don't, and it, this was from Good Life Fitness and then Canadian Strong, and it says don't wear yourself, at, see, don't wear yourself thin this holiday season by buying gifts that break your budget, overbooking social schedules, or cooking stressful and extravagant meals. Know your boundaries, know your boundaries, and get comfortable saying no. It's important to slow down and enjoy the season. So that was a great one, MJ. Then Sandy with an I said she learned on Tuesday that she could say no, maybe tomorrow. You know, that was one of the things we talked about was even if you have to say no, maybe you can say, well, how about another day? Or, you know, maybe tomorrow, you know, you know, maybe you could put it off for a little bit. Um, and so she said no, maybe tomorrow. She had just finished five hours of infusions. Never had to have that done, thank goodness, but I understand it wears you out. Um, but she said she'd had she'd just finished five hours of infusions and had had on a 46 hour infusion pump. Okay, that's what that and that's when people want to come call and come over and visit or check on her. I mean, you know, and it's and it's all with good intentions. Um, but she asked if they would mind waiting until the next day. They agreed. They came they came by the next day. It was a much more comfortable visit because she wasn't, you know, just worn out. Hello, Rosie. She wasn't just worn out and she said it felt so good to say not now, how about tomorrow? And she said that she hoped that that was considered a no. That's totally considered a no. That's exactly what I was talking about. You didn't need to do it that day, but you could totally do it the next day. So thank you for saying no. And then this last one, this was, this was one of the hardest ones of all. And a lot of y'all did your homework. Um, and I wish I could mention them all, but this last one was the hardest one of all for me. Um, my friend Karen, um, has just has had to say no to Christmas. So her immediate family is trying to be super, super careful during the pandemic because um, they have one set of parents um, that's on lockdown. They're on lockdown in a retirement community. Um, her daughter and granddaughter are moving into a new home. And then she has another daughter who's working overseas and a son who's in the Navy. So it was gonna be a hard enough Christmas anyway because this is one of the first ones without all of the kids there. And, um, sorry, just making sure I didn't miss anybody. So this is, uh, this is going to be one of the first ones without all of the kids there. And then she found out that some of the guests that were coming to their, and I'm sorry, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Woo! She found out that some of the guests that were coming to their, to what was left of their Christmas celebration, um, they were not going to be wearing masks. So they've been with other families. They were not going to be wearing masks or social distancing. So you know what? They decided to say no. They said no to Christmas. I am so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. She said, we love you. We want to see you. But you know what? We've worked this hard. They have worked so hard to be so careful. Um, and she said, I'm sorry, but I, we won't be able to make it this year. I am so proud of her for saying no. I know that was the hardest decision. I know that was the hardest decision. And I'm so proud of her for being brave enough to say no. So for everyone who did your homework, bravo stickers. Bravo stickers, um, ladies and gents. You all did an awesome and amazing job this week for your homework. Quickly, we're going to do this week's um, topic, and I'm sorry it's going to be so quick. We had technical difficulties at the beginning, so I'm going to be talking even faster than normal. But this week is chat number 204, and it's finding the JOMO in saying no. So if you did not, if you did not print off your weekly yet, you can still go back and find last week. Because remember, we're always a week behind. We're doing a catch up or a, a refresh, and you know, check in from the from the prior week. So JOMO is finding the you know, you've heard of FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. All the commercials right now are like, you know, oh, don't, if you suffer from FOMO, you know, you've got to go buy X, Y, and Z. Well, this is JOMO. It's the joy of missing out. So did you ever stop, did you ever think that you could have joy in missing out on something? So here you've said, you know, no to driving people places that you didn't need to be driving them. No to watching kids that the, the parents should be watching them no to not you know not eating candy that you didn't want to have or cookies that you weren't going to enjoy or things that were just going to make you feel miserable so you all done an excellent job all week long of saying no to things um but did you think about the fact that it that it brought you joy oh and valerie is new she is trisha's friend valerie did you say hello so everybody valerie is new she is trisha's friend everybody welcome valerie hello and welcome and i'm sorry and valerie i'm not normally this scattered but Facebook completely freaked me out today. Okay, but so that joy, so the joy that you can find when you say no to something, pause and think about what you're actually saying no to. 
So WW in your weekly this, this past week had three things that they suggested that you do to remind yourself about that joy of missing out. And the first one is to make a list, um, of just a list in your head, or you can write it down, you know, of all of the reasons that you wanted to say no. So think about, you know, think about why it was that you actually wanted to say no. Was it because you were tired? Was it because you um, had already overcommitted? Is it because you just wanted to have, um, you just wanted to have a, you know, a quiet evening, um, or you just felt like you were saying yes too much? So think about that. Then take a moment to notice how that benefits you. So number two is to take a moment to, to see how that benefits you. So did it get you ta time to spend with your family? Did it give you a chance to relax, you know, and recover from something that had just happened? Did it save you gas money? Um, you know, did it get you out of something that you've been trying to get out of for a long time? Did it keep you from eating something that you real that you knew that you were going to be miserable about later? Um, and then the third thing is to connect what you gained with from saying, wait, to connect what you've gained from saying no to um, with what's important to you. So if saying no to some well-meant cookies, you know, if saying no to those meant, you know what, I stayed on track this week. Or if saying no meant that you had a chance to rest when your body was already tired, awesome. If saying no just meant that you had an opportunity to take a nap, you, maybe you needed a nap, you know? So just go back and figure out what that joy of missing out, you know, um, so write down why it was that you, you know, why you wanted to say no, then take a moment. Number two is to take a moment to notice how that's going to benefit you, you know, like how that is going to benefit you. It doesn't even have to be about weight loss. It could just be about anything in your life. And then number three, connect those two. So you're going to connect those two things um, so that you know why it's important and you can connect them and put them together. So that is going to be your homework this week because, again, I'm having to talk super duper fast since we had technical difficulties in the beginning because I definitely want to play this game. Um, but that is your homework for this week. It is hashtag JOMO. So it is hashtag joy of missing out. So instead of the fear of missing out, it is hashtag joy of missing out. So I want you to do your homework, even though it is Christmas week. So if you celebrate Christmas, if you celebrate something else that is occurring this week, if you're just busy this week. I still want you to do your homework because I want you to realize what the joy of missing out can be. Um, Jomo, so it's hashtag Jomo. If you are brand new, we do homework every week um, and it's not required, but it's highly recommended because you, I might, I might call you out at the next, um, at our next chat next Sunday night. Um, and Casey makes, my daughter Casey makes some super cool badges for us and you earn a badge by doing your homework. So again, this week is hashtag Jomo. Okay. Phew, that was some fast, fast, fast talking. And I think this is probably the fastest that we've ever gotten through the first part of our chat. So the entire first part of the chat, thank you Lynn for posting the Jomo. The entire first part of the chat um, was a rush this week. So sorry about that because we had some Facebook difficulties. Um, the second half, we are playing a game. So what I need to know is, did anybody do a thumbs up, raise your hand, do something? Did anybody already do your bingo card? So it's bingo, you guessed it. We're playing, because I've just been talking about it like for two days. So we are playing bingo, and yes, Sandra, it is time for some water. So I'm gonna get my water here in just a second, but I need to know whether or not I'm showing you the bingo card. So let me know if you have questions about it. If you didn't print a bingo card, if you didn't auto-generate a bingo card, if you need the words, let me know, and I'll read them off to you really quickly, because you're gonna need a piece of paper and do the bingo. There are no actual prizes other than you get to scream bingo and I'll get Casey to make us a super cool badge um, for the bingo so that I can come back later and go ahead and um, you know go ahead and, and give you your bingo badge. But while you all are thinking about that, I'm gonna grab something else to drink. So tonight's drink is brought to you by cold weather in Tennessee. So let me add just a little bit of hot water. This is just tea. I'm probably the only southerner that you will ever meet who just drinks tea with no sweetener in it, with no sugar in it. So I do not drink sweet tea. And if you do not have one of those, one of those, I highly recommend it. And for everyone who saw Alyssa painting her tree last Monday, that's it. It was super cute. She's not even three yet. She'll be three next week. Next week? Next week, yeah. And new people, we take a break right in the middle 
We take a break right in the middle of our chat and drink some water. Tonight I'm drinking tea because since I'm already home, as soon as we're done, I'm gonna eat my supper real quick and go to bed. Okay, does anybody need the words before we get started? Because I seriously wanna hear some bingos. If y'all are not playing, I'm gonna be upset. Okay, because I wanna hear some people say bingo. I want to hear some people say bingo. This is yummy, yummy, yummy stress relieving tea, which I needed tonight. Okay, so let's see real quick. Anybody need the words? Looks like we got several thumbs ups. A couple of people, several people did, several people did the, let's see. Oh no, Betty Ann doesn't like any kind of tea. What? And Sylvia says, but it's on my phone and I'm watching you on my phone. Oh, come on. Okay, everybody's playing. Okay, and Sherry says, where did my card go? So you may have to flip back and forth. I don't know what to tell you. Ah, and Patsy's birthday is December 26th. Happy birthday. Well, let's see, real quick while y'all are finding your cards. Let's see, Christmas is December 25th. Casey's birthday is December 30th. Alyssa's birthday is December 31st. And Casey and Alan's anniversary is December the 31st. So Alan literally, my son-in-law literally has one week, six days of things to that he has to remember. That's it. That is all. Okay. Okay, looks like everybody's good. So let me just show you mine and then I'll come right back to the chat. So let me show you what the bingo card looks like in case you did not get yours printed out. And in case you've never played bingo, surely to get a shell of played bingo. So in a bingo game, you can win by getting five across, five down, and it can be across in any row. So in any row, it can be five down, like this, or it can be diagonally, like that. And remember, there are no actual prizes. It's just fun, and then Casey's gonna make us a super cool badge for that. So, if everybody is ready, this is how this is gonna work. The first one, so the first one that you can get is the middle section. So, in a bingo game, the middle section is always, and oh, and happy belated birthday, Sandy. The middle section is always the free spot. So, that very middle one, and hopefully to goodness y'all have all played bingo before, but that middle section is always, oh, and if you get five down or five across, or five diagonally, go ahead and shout out bingo. And then after Casey makes our super cool badge, then I will go back and give you your bingo badge. Um, but the center one is always the free spot. So sometimes you have to do something for it. Sometimes it just says free. Okay, for this one, for our bingo, in order to fill in your free spot. Now, if you downloaded the digital one, you can touch it. You can touch the bingo card and fill, and fill it in and it'll mark it, you know, done. Um, and, um, oh, and Barbara says when they go on cruises, they have one money. That is awesome. Um, but you can mark that as done. You can mark that middle spot if you have already subscribed to our YouTube channel. So if you have already subscribed to the, if you have an egg YouTube channel, or if you run and do it right now, then you can go ahead and check that middle one because that you get that free spot. So, okay. Then on the rest of them, I'm going to pull something out that corresponds with one of those other spots and then I'm gonna explain it to you. And I'll try to do this super quick since we had some technical difficulties at the beginning and are starting late. Um, but when I explain it to you, if if that is you, so when I when I tell you what it is, if that is you, then you can check that one off. Again, if it's a virtual card, like if you, or digital card, if you did that one, you can just touch it and it will check it off that you, you know, that you have that spot. Um, or if you printed it out, you can mark it, you know, however you wanna do that. Or if you made your own, you can mark it. Okay, so. The first spot that I'm gonna pull is, and remember once you get five across, five down, or five like this, then you can shout bingo. And you can walk through the Mevo cameras not working. So, okay, the first one is, oh, the first one is ugly sweater. So if you have the spot that says ugly sweater on your card, and if you own an ugly Christmas sweater, you can mark that spot. So just find the spot on your card if it says, if you have that spot on your card that says ugly sweater, and if you own an ugly sweater for Christmas, go ahead and mark that spot off. And the next one is steps. Okay, if 
this holiday season, if you're still going to try and get your steps in. So if you have set, it doesn't matter if your step goal is 500 or if it's 5,000, it does not matter. Whatever your step goal is, and remember, you're not competing with each other. You're not competing with each other, you're competing with yourself. But if you are gonna try and get your step goal in this holiday week, then you can mark that spot off. So that's the one that says steps. So if you have a square on your bingo card that says steps, and if you're gonna try and get your step goal in, again, no matter what it is, it's your step goal, then go ahead and mark off steps. Okay, and the next one is Recipe Builder. So if you are gonna be using the Recipe Builder on your WW app this week, so for this holiday week, if you're gonna be using the Recipe Builder, so let's say you're making something new for your family or it's an old family recipe you know, that you've made a million times, but you're gonna put it in the Recipe Builder and actually figure out what the points are. If you have Recipe Builder, if that's on your card and, you've, and you're gonna use the Recipe Builder this week, mark that spot off. And remember, when you get to five across, five down, or diagonally, you can shout out bingo. And we're all going to win, just so you know. Okay, blue dot. The next one I pulled out is blue dot. So, if, you're if you've already gotten a blue dot this week, or if you're trying for a blue dot this week, if you think, you know what, I'm going to get one blue dot, and the blue dot could either be for a meal, or it could be for, you know, for your activity. So, if you're going to if you're going to get one blue dot, just one, this holiday week, and if that's on your card, go ahead and mark off blue dot. So how are y'all doing so far? Does anybody have, does anybody have three so far? Is there anybody that has three? Okay, the next one, whoop, looks like Barbara does. The next one is, hello Teresa. So Teresa, we're already playing bingo. Hold on. So Teresa's late. If you have your bingo card, the squares you can mark off are recipe builder, Hello, Deborah, and Deborah's late too. So, Deborah, if you have your bingo card, you can go ahead and mark these off. Recipe Builder, if you're going to be using it, oh, Kim's got three. Blue Dot, Steps, Linda's got three, and Ugly Sweater. Okay, the next one is New Recipe. So, hello, Barbara. The next one is New Recipe. So, if you're going to be trying a new recipe this holiday week, something that you've never tried before, and it doesn't matter where you got it from. So, if you got it off of WW, if you got it off of your weekly, if you got it from, you know, from some, from somewhere else, if you got it off of, if you have an egg, if you got it from, I don't know, Drizzle Me Skinny, whatever, um, new recipe, you can go ahead and mark that one off. That is okay, Barbara. Okay, this next one, WCI. So, if you have initials on your board that say WCI, and if you've already done your weekly check-in. Thank you, Barbara. If you've already done your weekly check-in, so WCI stands for weekly check-in. If you've already done your weekly check-in this week and it's on your board, go ahead and mark that off. Wow, and Trish is killing it. She's already got four in a row. Good job. And remember, you can win more than once because there's no prizes. The prize is the bingo badge. Okay. Okay, the next one, oh, she already did the new recipe. The next one is sleep. So if you tracked your sleep, if you used the WW app to track your sleep this week, oh, Kim's got four, and if you have sleep on your bingo tracker, on your bingo board, and if, and if you use the app to track your sleep, go ahead and mark that one off. And I wish some of my girls were here from, um, some of my scrapbooking girls were here because they remember these bingo games that we used to play and they lasted for hours. Oh, Trish has already got bingo. So Trish has done everything this week. Okay, keep going, Trish. You got to keep marking these off. But some of the girls from my scrapbooking stuff, they remember how long these used to last because, I mean, I'm serious. They used to last for hours, hours, hours. Okay, the next one is, oh, Okay, now not everybody's gonna get this one. This one is Wego. So if you've ever made a Wego, if you've ever made a Wego, oop, yeah, Trish got Wego. If you've ever made a Wego, and there's only some of you here that have, and I know one of you is here. I know one of you is here. So if you've ever made a Wego and that's on your board, you can go ahead and mark that one off. 
pretty sure my president of the Wego Club is here. And if you don't know what the Wego Club is, that's a whole other topic that we'll have to talk about another time. Okay, the next one is zero point fruit. So if you are planning, I'm not asking if you ate a zero point fruit, if you are planning a zero, oh, and Betty has eaten a Wego, yay. If you, and Jennifer loves them, if you have eaten, if you're planning a zero point fruit, some, at some point, and Irma has to, at some point um, on the, you know, during the holiday, oh, and Sandra got bingo too, awesome. Gosh, y'all are filling this out too fast. Oh wait, Barbara said Gwen asked her if she needed a story about that. Oh, and Wendy's had several Wegos this week. Awesome, Wendy, you get to stamp, 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 stamp. More, yeah, more, more of them. And Sherry's had Wegos. That's awesome. But if you're planning a zero point fruit this week during the holidays, oh, and Teresa got bingo. Awesome. Um, then you can go ahead and mark that one off. what the next one is and we actually may end up eh, we might end up we might end early after starting out so late okay this one not many of y'all are gonna get not many of you if you've had tofu and this is probably my least favorite thing about us being on the iPad instead of on the Mevo camera is everything's backwards again sorry but if you've had tofu you don't even have to lock it, but if you've tried tofu, you can mark that one off your list. I should have made nutritional yeast one too, because y'all like to talk about that so much. So just out of curiosity, how many people got to mark off tofu? Just curious about that one. And if you were joining us late, we are playing a, we are playing a round of Egg Lady Bingo just for fun, just for fun because this week is Christmas. Yep, and Jennifer says if it's prepared right, it is delicious. Yeah, so yeah, no no tofu for Betty Ann. Oh, and Sandy has some in her fridge though. And Teresa says no for me. Okay, y'all are just gonna have to come by and let me, when we can come by again and let me make some tofu for you because it is it is delicious when it is properly, properly prepared. Okay, so the next one is homework. Homework, yep, oh and there's Carol. The next one is homework. So, if you did your homework last week, if you did your homework last week and you have homework on your bingo card, you can go ahead and mark that one off. So, let me see who did your homework. So, let's see and see lots of y'all are saying no tofu, but I've never tried it. See, tofu is delicious if it is properly prepared. So, y'all knew I had to throw something in there that a lot of people wouldn't that a lot of people wouldn't have. Those of us that have had tofu and love it, we love it. Okay, so homework. If you did your homework, if you did your homework last week, then you can mark that off of your, you can mark that off on your board. <laughs> and the next one is if you're like me and you love playing games. So the square that says games, that is just if you, if you endure, if you enjoy enduring my games. So at least I did not make you all do the jumping jacks this time and the you know and jogging in place and all of that stuff when I did oh and Trish just got her second bingo so Trish must have done everything she must have done all of that and Sylvia I know so Sylvia said no homework for her because she was in the hospital so if y'all don't know Sylvia's been in the hospital with the strangest thing maybe not the strangest thing but it's in the top three yep and Katie got bingo so Sylvia I have to admit it's in the top three strangest things that I've ever heard anybody say that they had wrong with them. So if you would, if you want to explain, I'm sure everyone would love to, you know, to send you well wishes. Um, but so, so Sylvia's been in the hospital, and Sandra's husband did pass away yesterday. So, yeah, y'all still remember. I know it's the holidays, but we still got to, we still got to keep an eye on each other and keep supporting each other. But if you enjoy my games, then you can mark off that square. If you don't enjoy my games, then hmm, on you, because I love playing them. Okay. And I didn't make you exercise this time. Okay, this next one. Everybody who already, who did, I know I already talked about homework, but everybody who did their homework or who is going to find a way, who's gonna find a way in this next, what is it, what are we, four days away from Christmas? Let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So four to five days away from Christmas Eve, Christmas, you know, celebrations. So everybody who is going to tell someone 
hashtag ho ho no. And remember, we talked about doing it in a nice way. We did not talk about, and thank you all for saying you love the game. We did not talk about just saying no, you know, and pitching a fit. We talked about doing it politely. We talked about um, reasoning with people, you know, trying to continue friendships, you know, even though you've had to say no, but just letting people, letting people know, I'm not gonna be able to do that right now. Or how about later? Or that's not something I can, you know, that's just not something I'm gonna be able to do, what, you know, whatever. So if you're gonna be able to tell somebody, ho, ho, no, in the next five days, go ahead and mark that one off your list. And this one I hope everybody gets. Yeah, and so Sylvia, okay, so hold on. She said she had a perforated ulcer and four holes in her stomach. And it might be from too many insects. I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh, Lynn bingo, Pam bingo. So Sylvia, that was, again, top three weirdest things I've ever heard. I'm still so sorry. And so sorry that you had to go through that. But I'm so hard, so glad that you are feeling well enough to be here with us. This next one I hope everybody gets. It's the one that says I Y H A E. So does anybody know what I Y H A E? Do you know what that stands for? And I'm gonna make y'all guess real quick because we are doing great on time. So I'm gonna make you guess. Anybody? I Y H, I'm sorry, I Y H A E. What does that stand for? guesses and sorry I wanted just a little bit more tea this is good tea yep Rosie's exactly right if you have an egg okay yep. and Wendy says if you have an egg yep and Lynn says if you have an egg so if you have ever tried an if you have an egg recipe and Carol's exactly right if you have an egg if you've ever tried an if you have an egg recipe so that would be and yep Marlene from our yep yep from um from our website if you have an egg so if you've ever tried an if you have an egg recipe yep Jennifer yep Sylvia Yes, Barbara. Um, if you've ever tried one, you can go ahead. Yep, Katie. You can go ahead and mark that off on your list. Yes, Trish. So, but I want to know what it was. Lynn's got bingo. I want to know what the recipe was. So, for me to count that square, you're gonna have to tell me what the recipe was that you tried from our website. Mm-hmm. Oh, Marianne's got a bingo. Mmm. Jennifer tried the air fryer apples. Is that not the easiest? Easiest, easiest, and Sandy's got a bingo. The air fryer apples are like the easiest. I put those in before I go get in the shower, and they're done. They're done when I get out. Oh, Betty Ann tried. Oh, Betty Ann tried the one from last week. Mm -hmm. Mary Ann tried the air fryer apples. They're so easy. Oh, Rosie did the ranch dressing. That one was a good one. I'm gonna have to make that one again this next week. That one was a good one. Pam did the Karen, the Karen's buffalo dip. We're doing. We're making that this week for um, for Christmas. Sylvia did the wontons in the air fryer. Yep. Popsicle did Wegos. Trish did buffalo. Did Karen's buffalo chicken dip. Ooh yeah, Lynn. That man's chicken. Yes, yes, yes. That is a family favorite. Yep. Sherry did Wegos. That is awesome. Okay, y'all are awesome. Yep. Teresa, that man's turkey tenderloin. That is another favorite. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, and Sylvia says most of her air fryer recipes um, are have been mine. Oh, and Barbara says she has a big bottle of fluff with my name on it. No, ma'am. And Carol Luce made that man's chicken, that man's turkey, and she made up that man's green beans. Yeah, so I know y'all do that man's everything. It is so awesome. Okay, good job, everybody. Y'all can mark that one off. Okay, the next one, YWP. Do you know what YWP stands for? YWP. I'll give you just a second because, again, we are doing great on time. I don't know. There's still quite a few in here. Okay, YWP is your weekly plan. So if you are using your WW app, and if you're using the new WW uh, MyWay app, um, there is a set, so MyWay Plus, I'm sorry, if you're, using the, if you've updated your app, which it should have already, um, it should have already updated. Um, if you're having any trouble with that, just let us know. But the, um, but if you're using the MyWay Plus, portion of your app you have a little section on there and we went over that a couple of weeks ago and it's called your weekly plan if you've already done your weekly plan for this week and um, go ahead and mark that square off that's the one that says YWP so that's for your weekly plan 
and it looks like apples and Batman's were the, are the most popular recipes. Okay, the next one is Zoom. So if you did your Zoom meeting for this week, so I know today's just Sunday, so let's say if you did it last week through today, if you did your, woo, Carol's got three new, Carol's got bingo on three rows and Jennifer's got bingo. Awesome, but if you did your Zoom meeting last week through today, you can go ahead and mark that square off. Teresa's got a bingo again. And I'm telling you, we're all gonna win. We're all gonna win. Okay, the next one is a zero point veggie. So zero point fruits at the holidays are a lot easier to do because a lot of people, you know, the person who panics, you know, if you're having, if you are having, hello honey, if you're having Christmas or some, you know, form of holiday, you know, with, you know, at work, and Lynn's got bingo again, if you're having, having it at work or, or having family over, you're going somewhere, there's always someone who panics and brings a fruit plate, you know, brings some kind of cut up fruit. So, and Sylvia, you could technically get a blackout, um, but zero point veggie. So if you are planning a zero point veggie this week for your, for whatever your holiday meal is going to be, if it's by yourself, if it's with people, if it's at work, whatever, if you're planning a zero point, and Sylvia's got a bingo again, if, if you're planning a zero point veggie, and Carol Lou's got bingo again, go ahead and, um, and then Melissa, go ahead and mark that one off. Betty Ann's got bingo again. Okay, the next one is track. If you're going to track on Christmas Day, not everybody's gonna get this one. I didn't say where you're gonna keep saying your points. I did not say that. I said, if you're planning on tracking on Christmas day, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, whatever your big holiday is, if you're gonna, if you are going to track on that day, again, didn't say, you might have triple digits. I don't know, I probably will. But if you're gonna track on that day, then go ahead on track and go ahead and mark that off. And poor Sylvia, Sylvia's gonna have all liquid foods that day. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Sylvia. I'm glad they got a hold of that though. And Lynn's got another bingo. Okay, so y'all are gonna have lots of bingos, just so you know. Okay, the next one is Jomo. So that is what we talked about this week. That's the joy of missing out. So if you have already found a way to Jomo, if you've already found a way to have joy in the missing out, um, then go ahead and mark off your Jomo um, square. Ooh, hold on. And Jennifer says it will be tough, but she's planning to do so. She has Polish family, so lots of dough. So Jennifer, one of the things, you know, tell me if I'm saying it correctly or not, that um, one of the things that I got for us to make for Christmas day is um, pierogies. So love them, I don't know if that's Polish or not, but just felt like it was. And hold on, Lynn says hers was today and she tracked 47 points. That's actually not bad. That's actually, 47's not bad, I mean, I'm seriously, I'm thinking I'm gonna have, I'm gonna end up having triple digits for Christmas. So I'm thinking 47 is not too bad. Okay, and we are getting close to the bottom, which is good because we have four minutes left. Okay, the next one is W-I-Y-F. So if you, again, if you are using the, the WW My Way Plus portion of your, um, of your app, if you have used the What's in Your Fridge, so it's the section of the WW app where you go in and you say, you know, okay, in my fridge I've got cheese, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, apples, because it has to be in your refrigerator, you know, whatever, and you let it build a recipe for you. Um, oh, I haven't had a haluki. I don't know what that is, Carol Lou. Um, but the WIYF, if you have used, if you were using the WIYF, the What's in Your Fridge um, portion of your app this week, you can check that box off. The next one, I hope there's some of us here. The next one, oh yep, and Jennifer's pierogies, yes. And they've had mine are homemade, I bought them frozen. I still love them. And they're really surprisingly, surprisingly not that many points. The next one is lifetime. So if you are a lifetime member, I did not ask if you were at your goal weight, you know, cause COVID has huge, that for a lot of us. Um, but if you are a lifetime member, a WW lifetime member, mark that puppy off. So yeah, if you're a lifetime member, even if we need to get back on the wagon, mark that off. Okay, and the stuffed cabbage sounds really good. 
The next one, BCS, barcode scanner. So if you are gonna use your barcode scanner, you probably still got another bingo. If you're gonna use your barcode scanner, um, if you're gonna use that when you're, um, oh, Jennifer's a lifer. If you're gonna use that while you're prepping for your holiday meal this week, oh, Linda finally got a bingo, yay! Um, if you're gonna use your barcode scanner as you're getting ready this week, as you're getting ready you know, for, your, for whatever your holiday meal is gonna be, you can go ahead and mark that one off. And y'all know me, I've accidentally talked right up to the end. The next one, hopefully everybody's gonna get, okay? The next one is hi and hello. So if you said hi and hello when we first started today, mark that one off. If you didn't say it yet, go ahead and say it so you can mark that one off. And then the very last one, and some of you will have a coverall, so if you know what a coverall is, you can be my friend. Okay, the next one is new food. So if you are going to be having a new, if you're gonna have a new food this holiday, so if it is gonna be something that, you know, you're celebrating a different holiday with somebody, um, or like pierogies were new for us last year, you know, so that would be a new food. So if you're gonna be trying a new food this holiday, you can go ahead and mark that one off. So hopefully, hopefully everybody has a bingo. I wanna know, does anybody have a coverall? And if you don't know what a coverall is, ugh. if you do know what a coverall is, you seriously can be my friend. Um, so a coverall is if you filled every single square. So, ooh, Carol Lou has a coverall. Good job, good, good, good job, Carol Lou. Um, I wanna see real quick who my coverall people are before we before we jump off here. So, oh, Marianne's got another bingo. Yeah, Trisha's got a blackout. So I love that she calls it a blackout. So here in the Southeast, we call it a coverall. But blackout's good. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh man. And Teresa said that tofu is keeping her from having a full card. So you're gonna have to just try some tofu. Yep, Lynn's only missing two squares. Sylvia was missing the homework and the tofu. I'm telling you, you're gonna have to try the tofu. Okay, so thank you all. Keep commenting. Um, y'all can comment even after we get off of here. Thank you all. And Ginger got one bingo. No, no cover off for Betty Ann, but thank you all for being here. Thank you for enduring oh, the endless um, technical difficulties. It seems like right when I get everything, you know, under control, then Facebook will, you know, shake it up a little bit. Thanks for shaking it up right here at the holidays. But anyway, everybody have a very Merry Christmas. If Christmas is not your holiday, have a very Merry whatever it is you celebrate. Um, we will see you next week. Um, hello, Rita. We will see you next week. Oh, so Rita's saying hi and hello so she can get on the, yeah, so she can get that on her bingo card. Um, but y'all have an amazing week, and we will see you next week. We are inching ever so close to 2021 when everything should return to normal again, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so y'all have a great week. I will see you next week. Keep playing bingo. Casey is making, again, super cute badges for us. Don't forget your homework, and I will see you next time. If you are watching this on YouTube, I apologize that it is not full screen. Um, technical difficulties tonight, but go ahead and hit that subscribe or go ahead and let that next video roll over. Hit the subscribe button um, and then go ahead and hit that bell so that you can be notified for next time. And for everybody that's asking about John's mom, thank you very much. John is back tonight. He just walked in. Actually, come here and say Merry Christmas to everybody. You should say Merry Christmas to everybody. I should say that. Yeah, you should say that. <clears throat> Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, so thank you all for asking about his mom. Um, she was in a much better mood today. Um, she, yeah, he said much better mood today. She's not really having any symptoms. So thank you. Thank you so much for your prayers on that. But y'all have a great week and I will see you next time. Good night.